गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू चैप्टर नंबर टू ऑफ फिजिक्स चैप्टर क्लास एट दैट इज़ फिजिकल क्वान्टी एंड मेजरमेंट सो इन दिस चैप्टर द वेरी फर्स्ट थिंग टू नो अबाउट द डेंसिटी वट इज़ डेंसिटी द डेंसिटी ऑफ इज सबस्टेंस इज डिफाइंड एज द मास पर यूनिट वॉल्यूम ऑफ द सबस्टेंस लेट एस टेक वन स्मॉल एग्जाम्पल टू क्लियर दिस डेफिनेशन सो वी आर हैविंग ए टू कंटेनर ए एंड बी इन ए मॉलिक्यूल्स आर वेरी फार फ्राम ईच अदर वेयर एज इन बी द मॉलिक्यूल्स आर वेरी क्लोजली पैक्ड वट वी कैन से अबाउट द डेंसिटी डेंसिटी ऑफ बी इज मोर दैन द डेंसिटी ऑफ ए सो इफ वी आर हैविंग ए वन के जी ऑफ आयरन एंड वन के जी ऑफ कॉटन सो वट वी कैन से सो बोथ आर हैविंग ए सेम मास न सो द मास ऑफ सेम मास ऑफ डिफरेंट सबस्टांस इज हैविंग ए different volume the 1 kg of iron can occupy a small space whereas the 1 kg of cotton can occupy a more space that is same mass of different substances have different volume same way same volume of different substances now take a example of iron and plastic if 1 kg of iron and 1 kg of plastic you are having so which will contain uh, Won't, um, same if they are having a same volume, but different substances they are having a different masses. So density is denoted by d. That formula of density is mass upon volume. So SI unit of mass is kg. The SI unit of volume is meter cube. So SI unit of density becomes kg per meter cube. So density the, uh, water is a special case. so density of water increase from 0 degree celsius to 4 degree celsius and then decrease above the 4 degree celsius so density of regular solids we can find from the different different formula so d is equal to m upon v so volume of cube if we can find that is the side cube so next we are having a volume measuring devices the first device we are having that is the measuring cylinder in this cylinder the volume is measured so uh, it is graduated in milliliter so marking are given on the top that is 0 to 100 degree ml is given so what we we can measure the liquid with the help of this cylinder next we are having a measuring jugs students if we want to buy an oil or any uh, milk if you want to buy or sell we can measure the that much liquid with the help of this measuring jugs next we are having a eureka can so what is this eureka can eureka this eureka can a uh, can having a one spot so this spot uh, is very helpful uh, over here so this spot uh, can help uh, to uh, containing you can pour a, a liquid in it and then put a, any solid material into it and the overflow water can go out through this spot by this we can find out the uh, density with the help of eureka can then finding the density of an irregular solid if we are having a irregular solid we can find easily we can find easily with the help of this uh, uh, eureka uh, can so uh, easily we can find out uh, the material uh, the density so if we are having a beam balance measuring weight given liquid measuring cylinder or measuring beaker we can through this activity we come to know that how can we measure the density of a liquid then we are having a density bottle so this density definition of this density bottle is very important so what is this density bottle the density bottle of uh, is a bottle of known a uh, volume we uh, know about the volume and firstly we have to weight it as empty empty bottle then then uh, with the a uh, liquid then density uh, of which to be found we can we have to firstly we have to weight it Uh, as empty uh, empty density bottle then we have to pour a liquid by uh, through which we want to know about the density and then after that weight both liquid 
plus this bottle then we know about the we can find out the um, density of that uh, liquid so this uh, activity is very important to find out the density of a liquid using the density uh, bottle so they can ask you uh, in the uh, exam also so by this we can we are having a two jar firstly we have to um, pour the water up to 70 degree uh, 70 ml both and in another uh, uh, jar or another cylinder we have put a irregular so uh, uh, solid into it then in that uh, cylinder and uh, then uh, the water is rise risen how much water has risen from there that is 20 first it is 70 then water rises up to 80 now 80 minus 70 that is 10 10 ml is the density density of this uh, um, irregular solid then very important topic we are going to discuss about the relative density and specific gravity relative density i want to clear you one thing when you can relate any density with the relative density that means you are relating that density with the water only relative density can be measured with the density of water always and make sure that it has no si unit the relative density has no SI unit. So, relative density of a substance is defined as the ratio of the density of substance to the density of water. Simply, you can write the water. So, density of water is 4 degree at 4 degree Celsius is 1 gram centimeter cube. So, students read the topic up to here and try to find out the exercise. Thank you.